What is up guys, Carter Bojanko here from The Tackler Rat, and it's been a while, but I'm back here with another episode. Let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. It has been, I believe, almost three weeks since I've uploaded a video, but I am back and we got winter break coming up for school. So it's going to open up a lot of time for me to shoot more videos and I'm excited about that. But today we are going to be reviewing the Powerbait Maxent General versus the Gary Yamamoto Senko. So once I get, I'm going to pull up my notes. Okay, so first thing we're going to talk about, these two baits, awesome baits and I fish with them a lot, you know. For me this summer, it was a lot about being simple, fishing in the back of the boat and putting baits in your hand that you have confidence in and fishing like high stakes tournaments or highly pressured lakes where you need to have higher quality baits. These two baits here are very, very high quality and I'm going to be comparing them today because there's a couple of key differences that I noticed. You may just think it's a Senko, what could be different about it, but there's a lot of, of things that I've noticed and situations where I want to use one over the other. So the first one, obviously, one of them is Max Scent. So first one's gonna be Scent. Um, what Gary Yamamoto does with their baits is actually inject uh, salt into the molds. So what that does is it makes a much softer plastic and that, that allows for a much, uh, I would say, more natural action. It's a lot softer. As you can see, the bend in that bait, you're not gonna get that with a lot of your lower quality plastic along with allowing that bait to be natural uh salt is one of the top attractors uh for fish and it kind of holds in that bait so it's not going to come off after your first couple casts and it's it's injected in the bait you know if you tear one of these in half you'll see all the salt that's in in that plastic you know embedded within it so it's a salt loaded plastic and that's kind of the scent that they do with that but nothing really else and then with the max scent if you guys are smallmouth fishermen or you keep up with the fishing industry, you guys know about Max Scent. It's blown up the last two to three years. And they've come out, you know, not only with smallmouth baits, but you've got a whole range of different Max Scent baits. Now we got Chigger Craws, Chunks, Senkos, uh, lots, lots and lots of drop shot baits. And, you know, they're really starting to expand into that largemouth scene with the Max Scent. And I do think there's a lot of times where that does help with largemouth. You know, generally they're going to be living in shallower, dirtier water, and some. But sometimes, you know, that it, it will still help, especially when being around stingier fish. So as I pull this Max Scent General out of the bag, you know, my hands are already covered in this Max Scent. But this Max Scent is crazy. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what they're doing over there at Berkeley, but essentially what's happening with these plastics they're cooking the scent into the bait and it's not just salt but they're cooking this max scent which is similar to like a power bait scent that they put in their other plastics but you know it doesn't hold and it's kind of like oily and it stays on top of the plastic while this is like actually cooked into the plastic and what that does it allows the scent to stay on there for a long long time you know i could have drop shop you know flatworms sitting on that that counter over there for for weeks and you know i'll pick up that bait and that scent is still on there you know being out of the package for a long time and it'll still still smell good um you're not good necessarily but it'll still have that scent on it and one of the things that does to this plastic it makes it very 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 soft sometimes you know having that soft plastic is is awesome but this plastic is very very fragile very soft and what I like to do with these Senkos is flip them on a straight shank hook, you know, like a light wire gamakatsu straight shank hook. And I like to flip grass and cover behind my boaters a lot of the times. And, you know, these baits, these Max N Generals will, will break and the hook point will come through that bait without even have ever, you know, caught a fish on it. And that, that plastic will tear, whereas it does not happen with that Gary Yamamoto. Usually I can catch at least one or two fish before it breaks but that it is kind of you know kind of sucks about this bait but the other thing about this bait that's different is the size so if you guys notice if you guys have ever like seen 
the general in your hand. Uh, compared to a lot of your other baits, uh, your other Senkos, these are a lot smaller while on the label it says five inch. You know, I would say the general is a solid half an inch shorter. If you guys can see that, solid half an inch shorter. Uh, and these are both labeled as five inch Senkos. And then the profile is also smaller on this. So, uh, you know, does, does it really make a difference? I don't know, but I kind of like it. I kind of like the general having a little bit smaller profile and something right in the middle between that four and five inch range is nice. And then as far as like color options, it's pretty much the same for both. You know, Gary Yamamoto, obviously you have like, I think 60 to 70 colors to choose from, but you keep it very basic, or at least I do with my Senkos, you know, green pumpkin, black and blue, June bug is pretty much all you need. And as far as price, you know, they're pretty high end baits for both of them. And just expect to lose a lot of them. And the only time I really use any Max Scent or Gary Yamamoto products is when I am fishing big tournaments and you know when you need to have that extra extra confidence in your baits but they're both great baits and you know the situation where I'd like to use this max scent like up in Champlain uh, we went down to Ticonderoga and I flipped for a largemouth and you know those northern strain those northern strain fish the largemouth and the smallmouth uh, you usually got a little bit clearer water and I that's where I like to pick up that max scent because you know those fish tend to be a little bit more picky. Uh, Champlain is a is becoming a pretty pressured fishery and you know having that extra advantage with that max scent definitely helps. Uh, but anywhere where it's pressured, uh, where those fish are feeding more by scent rather than sight. Um, and then, you know, I like to pick up that Gary Yamamoto pretty much any other time. Uh, you know, it's a bit, obviously a bigger presence in the water. You can fish it in dirtier water. Uh, but you know, both will work. And pretty much that's little, just a little comparison video between the General and the Gary Yamamoto. Big Senko fan. And uh, my first tournament this year is actually going to be in Florida. Uh, got going to get an opportunity to go down there for the first time. And obviously that 5 and 6 inch Senko down there is a big deal. So I'm definitely going to have uh, some cool content from that trip. But thanks again guys for watching another episode of the Tackle Riot. And we'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.